Um, turn it over to paw print. And uh, again, paw print is one of the, the leading apps out there. It's in the, it's in the uh, app store. You can download it right onto your phone has great reviews allows you to access, allows a client to access their patient records, the client portal. But today they're going to show off their fancy schmancy appointment confirmation system. And with that, I will turn it over to the paw print team. And I'll monitor questions for the paw print team. So paw print, you may take it away. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, all right. I need to take over the screen from you, Matt. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. While he's doing that, uh, my name is Emily. I'm the founder here at Pawprint, and we handle all of your client communications. Um, so some things that Better can do, but we also integrate directly with their system so that you can have some more functionality on top. Uh, primarily, we send reminders. We're gonna show you appointment confirmations today our brand new vet portal, um, and there is also the mobile app that we can give you a glimpse of, but also you can download and directly view in the app store at your leisure. So. I gave control to Mimi, uh, Emily, so you guys take it away whenever you wish. Uh, can you pass to Paw Print team? Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, great. Um, and where... Oh, okay, so you actually gave me control of your screen. I think if you just stop sharing, I'll be able to share mine. Okay, perfect. Okay. So can you see my screen here? Okay, I'm going to see. Yes, yeah. everything, everything's perfect. Okay, so for anyone who's seen this before, it's going to look a little bit different. Um, we reskinned it and move things around a little bit. So here at the home page, you can see a summary of what has been happening. Here are some examples of communications we send out. Um, for example, Gracie's kennel cough was due or is due in 14 days. This is an email that went out to Renee. So any history you would get right here in the home page. Um, anything that is overdue shows up in red and anything that's due in the future will show up in black. Uh, we also give you a light summary of how many emails and text messages you've sent. And client activation gives you a high level look at how many people are using the mobile app that comes with our solution. Taking a deeper dive into the client list, we now allow you to connect directly with your clients via SMS. So they can text you and you can text them back. So in here, we see a badge next to the folks who have sent us a message that has been unread very similar to just texting directly on your phone. You can go in here um, and you can see this communication right here on the right hand side. On the left hand side is some context on the client and this is coming from Vetter, as is this. So if they have multiple pets, those will also show up down this list. Um, so this gives you an overview of their profile. And then on the right side, you can see the communication log. So here with Jen, we've sent her a couple messages. The ones that have this paw print logo on the side will say via paw print, which means that these are automatically scheduled texts that went out, um, either for reminders, like you can see here, Sadie and Zoe are due for a visit, please call. Or um, the appointment confirmation feature Matt mentioned, which send a text like this, which says, you have an upcoming appointment with Okoboji Vet. Uh, please reply with one to confirm or two to cancel. And then what you now have the ability to do as well is to send any text message. So you can say, hey, Vivian is ready to be picked up after her appointment. And, um, and then in this case, Jen texts back, thanks, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Uh, so this gives you the ability to see some context of what has been communicated with this client before, 
Um, and then initiate your own conversations if there's anything that you want to talk to them directly about without tying up your phone lines. Um, so let's go to appointment confirmation. So here is my demo vetter account. There are, these are all the appointments I have today. You can see some of these have this yellow mark over the calendar icon, which means that they are not confirmed. So if I click in here, it says not confirmed. There are some that have already been confirmed, so this one doesn't have the yellow, it says confirmed. So we're gonna go ahead and do a confirmation for, let's do Baxter. So right now it says not confirmed. I, depending on your settings, would get a text or I could also get an email. Um, and we are looking for Baxter. So here's the email for Baxter. It says, friendly reminder that you have an appointment with us at this time, please click here to confirm. And this will get sent out typically two days before your appointment, but you can also choose the time for that as well. Um, we have a slight issue here. I think. Okay, let's see if that worked. I think we might have an old link. So let's try this one for Hobbs. Nope, okay. Um, Normally what you would see is appointment confirmed. And then when you go in here, this is the one we did earlier today via the email. So this link that we had already used for Hillary and Rumi, we had tried this morning. Um, and you go in here, it does say confirmed. So you would get to see that in our portal, but you could also see that directly in better. So you don't have to move out of your system if you don't want to. Okay, so going back to this page here, um, let's see. So in this client page, when you look at all of the clients in your database, you'll be able to see if anyone has a next visit scheduled. And then these icons here will tell you if you have a mobile compatible number, this will be blue. If you have a valid email, this will be blue. And if they're using the app, this will be the pop print orange color. Uh, and to give you a quick reminder, you can hover over here and it'll tell you what that means. So it says client is using the paw print app. And if anyone wants to take a look, our website is getpawprint.com. You can go to our website. This is uh, an idea of what the app looks like. So any of the vaccinations in your vetter account, once the user links up with you, um, they'll be able to log in and see that in their app. And you can text yourself the app and take a look directly from there. And, uh, and I'll pause here. Are there any questions? Nope, no questions. Matt, is there anything else you wanted us to cover? Okay, we have a question. So do we need a new phone number for our clients? Uh, the answer is no. We will provide a phone number for you that's unique to your clinic. And so when your clients get texts from this tab, that's the number that it'll come, come from. And it'll be the same every time. Laura, does that answer your question? Okay, great. Um, are you charged per text or monthly? So we charge monthly. This is a great question. The portal, the email reminders, appointment confirmations all come for $99 a month. And then you get unlimited text on top of that for $49 a month. Um, so that will include the appointment confirmation text messages, reminder text messages, and anything you send in and out of this portal. And one quick thing, so there's some customization you can do around the language as well. Um, you can customize how you want your customers to book appointments with you by editing the text in here. And you can also set uh, for any 
automated messages that we send, how often you want to send and whether you want to go that, send that through SMS, email, or push notification. Any other questions? If you guys do think of questions, you can email us at hi at getpawprint.com or um, if you go to our website, we also have a section for vets and you can go in here and sign up for a demo and we will reach out directly to you and happy to answer any questions on a more one-on-one -on -one basis. And we have one more question. Uh, will using your program deactivate our reminders in Vetter or would we have to go in and change everyone's communication options manually? So the great thing about our integration with Vetter is you can automatically turn that on. Let's see if I can find it. In extensions, so here I went to settings, extensions, and then you can find us, paw print integration, um, and if you choose to enable this, click plus and click yes, um, that will turn off the communications from your Vetter account. Um, and at that point, the communications will primarily come from Paul Print. Uh, sorry about that, Emily. I had a technical difficulty there. <laughs> so I know you paused there for a moment and looking. Um, this is one thing important. Uh, sometimes people click on this without having and then they assume the paw print integration is automatically activated. It, it's not, right? It, it just lets paw print know that you're interested, right? And then once you engage with paw print, then they would take over your better reminders. Am I correct in that, Emily? That's right. So once you do this activation, we will get a message um, and we'll reach out to you to confirm. At that point, we will start the integration so that the data in Better and the data in our system is matched up. And once that's all complete, we will reach out to you so that you can um, tell us what you want to do and make sure that some of these settings are the, to your liking and your preference, whatever cadence you prefer. Um, and then once we have the green light, then everything will start sending from our system. And I think the real, the nice value add to this is honestly is the, uh, the appointment confirmation thing. We all know, like I said, in human medicine, it works. And the great thing is that it'll update it in Vetter. It'll update the calendar. That little warning symbol will no longer say not confirmed. It'll say confirmed. It also updates it in the clinic census. So it just makes life a little easier for your staff. And uh, Emily, do you want to briefly tell about the two-way uh, texting that's going to be coming soon? Yeah, so that is already shown in this portal, actually. So two-way texting, you would be able to come in here to your client page and initiate any message you want. So you can say, pet is ready for pickup, or maybe you're in the middle of an appointment, a drop-off appointment, and you want to confirm something with the owner. You can go ahead and shoot them a text message. People tend to open text messages 90% of the time within the minute. So you're gonna get a much better response than if you were to email, and it would be much quicker than if you were to try to call your clients. Um, you get that communication back here, and it'll show up in your portal. If you look in your page, you'll get a notification, so you'll see when you have unread messages that you need to take a look at or respond to. Um, and one thing to note about two-way communication is uh, legally this has to be part of the medical record. Um, and so one thing that Better and Popcorn are working on together is to write this back into your medical record directly so that you don't have to uh, manage that. So if you... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this, that, that's correct. So I just want to back up what Emily's saying. We'll be adding that feature a little later in the summer to the client communication history. So if you have a two-way text communication going on about the health of, you know, Karu here or Ruby, uh, it will go right here into the client communication history and it will show that text history. So this is something people had asked for in Vetter uh, just to have greater 
visibility over their client communications and well you asked and we're <laughs> we're doing our best to deliver and that'll be in there uh paw print already has their end ready to go vetter's working on on their end and that'll be in the software a little later this summer adding e even more value to the integration thanks emily thank you Uh, this was a, a shorter uh, office hours, but um, thank you very much for attending. One quick heads up to the Vetter clients who are here. Uh, as always, these are recorded and stored in the customer community. Uh, and we expect later this week, I think on Friday or Saturday, we will have a, a dosage calculator. We'll be in the software. I will, once that is in the software, I will send everybody a tip of the week email on how to use the dosage calculator, and that should make everyone's life a little bit easier. Uh, if there's no other questions, I wish everybody a great rest of the day, and thank you, Paw Print team, for your attendance, and please be sure to reach out to them. If you lose their contact information somehow, right, just email me, and I'll put you in touch with Emily or Mimi, and I thank everybody for their time. Uh, take care, and have a great rest of the day.